Okay, good morning from Puglia, uh, the Puglia province in um, southern Italy. We're near the town of Altamura, and this is the Messor's uh, headquarters at uh, Maseria La Selva, and I'll show you around. This is the entrance um, coming off it. We're basically in, in farm country. This is a 450-year-old uh, hunting lodge converted to a farm. Um, I'll give you a look at sort of the perimeter of this, the place. This is the farm buildings. There's some dogs. <laughs> There's one of our, my friends. And uh, standing in the shadow of the water tower. that the structures are very old stone buildings. This is the front gate. I'll take a walk around and I'll show you. Thank you. Okay, so as you come through the gate, it's a double double gated courtyard with service buildings to the right. My bedroom is up there service buildings to the left. Every morning the cows and the sheep are milked and they make a couple or a few different types of cheese here in the... Uh, oh, there's nobody in there right now, that's too bad, but they make cheese in here every morning. Um, bocconcino, mozzarella, uh, picarino, Cow, their sheep milk here is uh, preferred. The white cheeses are preferred. Uh, this is this is a oh, it's okay. This is a big um, like garage type thing. Um, so we're in a little courtyard here. Hi, kitties. Hello, kitties. Okay, so come through here. This is a little inner courtyard, little yard, and that is Tonio Kenza. Hi, Tonio. This is Fausta. Hello, Fausta. Hi. Ciao. Okay. Um, so here we are inside the oops the lodge. Um, it is a very thick stone structure, uh, arched, uh, arched construction. Everything is arched. Artwork everywhere. This is the great, the dining hall where we have dinner. There's a fascinating wood stove with covered in tile, which is amazing. Um, this is a really big, you can probably hear by my voice, the echo in here is the acoustics are Crazy, so it's really neat. Um, uh, there's long tables. We have big feasts here. Um, it's amazing. I can, I can. It's just, it's amazing. Uh, I'll just wander around a little bit and show you some of these rooms. This is where we have our aperitivo uh, gatherings by the fire. We pre-dinner snacks. There's a fireplace for the winter with amazing uh, <laughs> it's just knickknacks and things everywhere. It's it's uh, it's um, uh, it's different here. We this we sat here till two in the morning of the night playing guitar, drinking about nine bottles of wine and singing together. Um, what I mean by it's different, you know, it's um, everything here is very old, but still very very much a part of their way of life, very much a part of their identity, the way that they, they farm, the way that they cook, the way that they... The, t t the stuff they do is traditional. This is, a, this is amazing. This is an old gelati cart, which is crazy. So through here is um, the main kitchen. Here's the little dining area where we have breakfast and we sit and we talk. Um, every day there's fresh fruit Cherries that taste more like cherries than I've ever tasted.
tasted before. The local fruit, fresh baked uh, zucchini, chocolate loaf, um, homemade local olive oil, uh, homemade um, honey over there, uh, fresh squeezed juices, and that's a carrot cake. Uh, every day there's fresh produce that comes in. This is the kitchen, which is an amazing old school um, farm kitchen. Uh, anyway, okay, I mean, this is, so far I've shown you, you know, one, I don't know, tenth or less of this structure. But I'll just give you a quick tour. Laundry room, bathroom. Uh, I'll show you upstairs a little bit here, give you a sense. Check these stairs out. Nothing like walking up 500 year old stone steps. Look at these things out the window. Isn't that wild? <laughs> Some of my colleagues. Chelsea, Giuseppe, Gabriel, all right, Yeah. Nice girl. Hello. 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 really quite something. Here's a sense of scale. This is where we started a minute ago. Okay. Um, this is just a little smaller room. And then you come through yeah. here, <laughs> and here is, uh, what would you call this? I don't know. A great room? Here, I'll turn the light on. This is my bedroom. Uh, there we go. Oh, look at that. And this is, this is Aaron, who didn't sleep last night, and this is, you know, he's just a glowing, he's generally my roommate, <laughs> he just glows. It's the glowing apple. The, glow, the glowing apple. Anyway, that's Aaron. <laughs> yeah, shut the door. Yeah, do it. You should. Um, so this is uh, a giant, massive. Uh, see that? Uh, it's it's a hunting. It was a hunting lodge uh, for one of the wealthy Italian families that sort of. Get the name of the family. There's old powder muskets and guns, and there's a music room. Oh, it's, it's just amazing. And I, this video is not going to do justice, but at least you'll get a, an idea. Um, I don't know what did, office, I guess. This is, there's bedrooms, there's bedrooms, there's bedrooms, there's bedrooms. Hello! And, uh, do you, do you want me to move? No, no, you are moving. No, you want me to disappear? <laughs> no. Just say hello. I'm just taking a video. <laughs> there you go. A little mini tour. That's another wing. And then the other side, if I go this way. I don't know how big this place is. 10,000 square feet? I don't know. It's just huge. Here's sort of a more, I don't know, formal... Room, the big desk on his desk, I guess. A little sitting area. Another bedroom over there. This is Lucy's room. How's that for a bed? It keeps going. 
Tonio. So Tonio is the owner and the host of Messors. He's a archaeologist, artist, does restorations. Uh, he was raised here locally in Altamura. So um, that's that's about it for now. Ten minutes of video is pretty good, but. Just wanted to give you a sense of what this place looks like. It's really something else. Okay, bye for Puglia.